Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we're taking you on a journey through time as we delve into the Roman conquest of Gaul and the legendary Battle of Elysia. This decisive battle marked the climax of the Gallic Wars and resulted in the complete subjugation of Gaul under Roman rule. The Gallic Wars were fought between the Roman Republic, led by Julius Caesar, and the various tribes inhabiting the region of Gaul, modern-day France. The final victory for Rome was achieved in 52 BC, when Caesar's forces defeated a confederation of Gallic tribes, led by their chief, Vercingetorix. Despite the importance of the Battle of Elysia, its exact location remained a mystery for centuries. It wasn't until the 1990s that archaeologists confirmed the site atop Mount Oxwa, which overlooks the modern French town of Elise saint rain Julius Caesar's commentary, De Bello Gallico, provides a detailed account of his victory in Gaul, although historians caution that his writings may contain exaggerations to bolster his reputations as a military leader. Nevertheless, we can piece together an understanding of the events leading up to and during the Battle of Elysia from this account and other historical records. Caesar's initial campaigns in Gaul were successful and by 58 BC, he had reached the Meuse River and followed it north to the sea. However, the Gauls began to regroup and, in 52 BC, united under Vercingetorix to resist the Roman invasion. Caesar was forced to return to Gaul to quell the insurrection. The Romans faced a series of challenges, including attacks from the Gauls and dwindling supplies. Despite their struggles, the Roman army's discipline and determination allowed them to withstand the harsh conditions and eventually engage the Gauls in open battle at Gergovia. Although the Romans were defeated in this battle, they regrouped and besieged the town of Elysia, where Vercingetorix forces were stationed. In an impressive display of military strategy, Caesar's forces constructed two lines of fortifications around Elysia, one facing the town and the other facing the Gallic army. Trapped between these two lines, the Romans found themselves both besiegers and besieged. The Gauls attacked the Roman fortifications multiple times, but the Romans held their ground. After several days of desperate fighting, it became clear that the Gallic forces could not break through the Roman defenses. Vercingetorix surrendered, and Gaul won for Rome. Following the Roman victory, Elysia was converted into a Roman town. However, its location was lost over the centuries as the Roman Empire declined. In the 19th century, Emperor Napoleon III took a keen interest in finding the location of Elysia, and archaeological excavations finally confirmed the site atop Mount Oxwa in the 1990s. Today, the rediscovery of Elysia and its connection to Julius Caesar and Vercingetorix serves as a fascinating reminder of the rich history of Gaul and its eventual conquest by Rome. The story of Elysia has even made its way into popular culture, as seen in the adventures of the comic characters Asterix and Oblix. Thank you for joining us on this exciting exploration on the Battle of Elysia and the Roman conquest of Gaul. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories from history. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. We encourage you to dive deeper into the rich history of the Roman Empire, the Gallic Wars, and the stories of Julius Caesar and Vercingetorix. In future videos, we will explore other significant battles and events that shaped the ancient world, as well as the impact of these historical moments have had on the development of modern societies and cultures. We also welcome your suggestions for topics you would like us to cover. As you continue to explore the past, you'll uncover countless intriguing tales, captivating personalities, and incredible achievements that have shaped the world we live in today. History is filled with remarkable stories, and we look forward to sharing more of them with you. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating tales of our past 
and let the lessons of history guide us toward a better understanding of our present and future.